Hello everyone, welcome to a new series of tutorials. My name is Reese Warren and today I'm going to be helping you get used to the Unreal Engine editor. Today we're going to be moving around inside the viewport, getting used to the controls. I'm also going to show you some of the scaling controls to actually resize objects and rotate them. So yeah, today, create a new project by clicking the new project tab. Make sure you're using Blueprint, and for this we're going to be using First Person. Now we need to type in a project name, and also one other thing, make sure you've got Starter Content enabled. So, we'll call it Tutorial underscore Project underscore 1. One other thing to note, make sure you use underscores instead of spaces in the name. Notice the Create Project button goes blank. That is because Unreal Engine prevents you from using spaces in the project name. So yeah, make sure you use underscores to separate words. Anyway, create the project and it will begin to load up the editor. This may take a small bit of time. Okay, so now we're actually inside the Unreal Engine editor. So yeah, the first thing you will see inside the editor is the viewport. Uh, if I hold the right mouse button, I can actually rotate inside the editor by moving my mouse and holding right button down. Um, also, while I've got the right well, button held down, I can use W to move forward, S to move back, A to move left, and D to move right. So, with these tools I can actually move around inside the game level, um, and I can essentially go where I want to edit a specific thing. The next thing we're going to be doing, I'm going to get an, a small cube, uh, this is just going to be a basic cube, so just click and hold that with the left mouse button, drag it into the editor, and it will place it inside the level. So, this cube, I can now move it in each axis by corresponding arrows, so notice the green arrow corresponds with the Y axis. Uh, the blue arrow corresponds with Z and the red with X. So I can actually move this cube uh, in adjacent axes. Now, you may also notice small lines in the middle as well of each white arrow. I can actually select them and move them like, diagonally in like, two axes at the same time. Um, if I press the E key, this also comes up with rotation controls. So now, if I select this blue line here, the circular line, um, I can actually rotate it in the Z axis. So, likewise, if I select the green arrow, well, the green line, sorry, it will rotate in the Y axis. Now, one other tool as well, if I press the R key, I can now scale the cube. So if I wanted to scale in X, for example, I could select the small red cube here and then move it with the left mouse button to scale it. One other thing to note as well, um, if I scale the object, notice that this variable changes here in the transform panel. Um, this is actually the size like in dimension of the actual object. So I can type in here and put 10 for example and it will change the size to 10 in length. The other thing I would like to note as well is that you can scale in two axes at the same time like the movement controls. Uh, see the diagonal line here. If I click that I can then scale in Z and X at the same time. So it creates more of a cuboid than a cube. Um, Control Z undoes the change, just like a typical word processing software. Um, and also, I can scale in all axes at the same time by selecting the center cube um, and then scaling it. So, this allows me to like, scale up an object if it's like too small or too large. Anyway, um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. This is one of many, and yeah, I will see you in the next tutorial, so thanks for watching, guys.